Now, at last, the time has come to get hitched. To its credit, this camera system is drop dead simple. You've got two pieces of equipment and two buttons. Taking a look at the lens, you'll see the camera is equipped with seven infrared lights for night vision. These work automatically. The base of the camera contains a powerful magnet, which you can use to mount to any metal surface. So you could use this thing as a little security camera if you wanted. We, however, are hitching an Airstream. So it's going on to Seymour's tailgate. You'll notice a protective plastic cover over the antenna. This offers a little weatherproofing. To activate the camera, push a single button and we're good to go. So now we're backing up to our Airstream. Inside our plush truck cabin, we have the LCD screen for the Swift Hitch. There's one big black button to press, and the LCD will automatically sync with the camera. This is the video feed straight off the camera. You can see that the signal is a little weak, but it does the job. You'll also notice that our Labrador Retriever has gotten so lazy, he doesn't want to move out of the way. Come on, buddy. There you go, you can do it. Now this is the very first time I ever used the Swift Hitch. And I learned a very important lesson. And that's that the LCD display is equipped with both a normal and a reverse image. If you have the image set to reverse, here's what will likely happen. Oops. Now here's what I mean by reverse image. Pressing the big black button on the LCD display flips the image horizontally. I'm really not sure why this is a useful feature, but it tripped me up for a couple of minutes on the first time out. You can see here on our patented hitch cam that the image of our hitch is flipped and there's no visual indication on the LCD screen that indicates whether the image is normal or flipped. So now that we've got that straightened out, things are going to go much more smoothly. The other thing to pay attention to is the angle at which you mount the Swift Hitch camera. Since we're mounting the camera onto the tailgate, of course you don't have a direct 90 degree viewing angle onto the hitch ball. This means it's probably going to take a little bit of practice to figure out when you have the hitch and ball in the appropriate position. You can see here that I'm getting pretty close, but no cigar. If we were playing baseball, this would be strike three and I would be headed to the bench. But instead, I get one more time at bat and the fourth time's a charm. You can see how the hitch ball and receiver line up. Due to the angle of display, the LCD screen leaves some room for doubt. However, the hitch ball and receiver are properly aligned. So, wasn't that easy? Well, it was certainly easier than going through this process without a hitch camera, and I'm confident that with a little bit of practice, I'll get a lot better at using this thing. Overall, I think the Swift Hitch camera system will be a useful addition to our arsenal of camping gadgetry. After all, hitching solo may do more than help your camping. It may save your marriage. So if you think you might want your own Swift Hitch portable wireless camera system, just click the link on this page. The flamingo. There are always two consistent traits about the bird. It's pink and it's for sale in the long, long honeymoon supply store.